जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम यस वी आर डूइंग यूएचवी थ्री एंड वी आर ऑन लेक्चर फाइव वी डिड द फर्स्ट फोर लेक्चर्स इन मॉड्यूल वन वी आर स्टिल ऑन मॉड्यूल वन लेक्चर फाइव इन बिटवीन वी डिड स्टेप वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द इमेजिनेशन पर्टिकुलरली द फीलिंग the thought the expectation in the imagination eventually we have to try to do this every moment so while observing the imagination that part of the exercise must go on every day we can take time out maybe half an hour in the morning or any particular time which at which we are undisturbed we are by ourselves unlikely to be disturbed by anything from outside and then sit quietly and try to observe the imagination for about half an hour in addition to this throughout the day at various times we can either put you know set reminders for ourselves or in whichever way possible try to observe the imagination from time to time observe the feeling observe the thought the expectation particularly our focus needs to be on being able to see the feeling and this is the basis or the foundation for the entire exercise so this is an important step and so we'll be spending some time doing that and while we are doing that we are also going through this lecture 5 in which we talked about the human being being a coexistence of self and body and we are all familiar with the discussion from uhv2 particularly in this um lecture our focus is on this statement that we made that the self is central to our existence as a human being and the body is being used by the self like a tool or an instrument so here we are trying to see why is it that we have been saying that and so yesterday we discussed about all this transaction that is happening between the self and the body so some transaction happens from time to time between the self and the body and you may be able to notice this for yourself that you the self is giving some instruction to the body and the body does whatever you ask it to do based on what you want to do so if you want to go meet a friend you instruct the body to get up get dressed go out of the house you decide whether you want to go in a car or on a two wheeler or take public transport or walk based on you know where the distance and the time of day and so many factors you might take into consideration so all this thought process may be going on in the self and then you instruct the body okay let's walk down so the body you know starts walking based on instruction given by the self and so on you will notice that many thoughts many feelings many imaginations you if you will are going on within you and sometimes or from time to time you may be interacting with the body also but this imagination is going on constantly in you and many a time you may be busy with so busy with the imagination that you even forgot the existence of the body in the sense you are not aware of the body at all 
that may also be happening. So the self is giving some instruction to the body and the body is following. We also said that there are many sensations that are there in the body. Many things are happening in the body. Many chemical reactions are happening. Many processes are going on. When you eat food, the digestion happens. For that, you don't have to keep instructing the body, okay now, pancreas do this, stomach do this. Everything is happening. Many processes are happening as a part of the self-organization of the body. And so there are many sensations that are taking place. The heart is pumping, the blood, the blood is circulating in the arteries, in the veins. So many things are happening. So many sensations are there. You tend to read those sensations which are of significance to you at any moment. So, you might have noticed that many parts of the body we may not notice also that they exist. But when there is the slightest pain in any one small portion, how quickly we become aware of that part of the body. Have you been able to notice that? You can mention in the chat, yes, no. That when there is, you know, you may not notice some parts in the body, but if there is a slightest pain there, we notice that part. Yes. So that part was there even before. And maybe subtle sensations, many subtle sensations were there, but we never noticed. But there is a pain, it is significant for us, it is important for us. So we read that sensation and we become aware of it. So the self is reading the sensation from the body, the sensation of pain or any other sensation itching, um, you know, that feeling that you want to, or sensation that you want to scratch, or even the touch of something, say, the rain on the skin. And you will notice that at the beginning of the sensation, we become aware of it. But then very quickly, we forget about it. For instance, you put on some clothes. The moment you put on the clothes, the sensation of the cloth against the skin of the body, you are aware of it. But then you go about the whole day and you have forgotten about that. Unless, of course, there is something disturbing like Say some, you know, ant or something is there inside. Then you notice that sensation. But otherwise, you know, you put on clothes, you forget about that sensation. It's almost as if you are that. You have forgotten that there is a cloth on top of the skin. Because it has, you are not aware of that sensation anymore. So you'll notice that you are reading the sensations from time to time as and when you think it is important. Now, all of this giving the instruction, reading the sensation, this is all information. The instruction that you are giving to the body, that is information. The sensation that you are reading from the body, that is also information. So this transaction that is happening between the self and the body, it is only in the form of information. Nothing physical, nothing material is being you know, exchanged or transacted between the two. 
And if you notice the decision for this transaction, this decision to send the instruction that is being made by the cell and the decision to read the sensation from the body that is also being made by the cell. So you can say that the decision for every transaction that is being made between the self and the body, the decision maker for that is the self. So would that be okay to say? We asked uh, yesterday's assignment was, one was of course to look at the imagination and try to identify the feeling, the thought, the expectation. That part has to keep going every day. We need not mention it, but that is part of the fixed assignment for every day. In addition, we had asked specifically to try to observe the interaction between the self and the body and try to observe this, that how much of the time approximately whenever you observe, how much time you may be spending by yourself without even being aware of the body and how much time you spend interacting with the body. That was one question we had asked. The other question was, are you able to see who is deciding when there is this interaction happening between the self and the body? Are you deciding it or is the body deciding? And if you feel it is the body also, let's hear why you think that. Maybe we can discuss it and see. So if you would like to put forward your observations, we can take some observations regarding the assignment, yesterday's assignment. Anybody would like to share their assignment from yesterday? First of all, you can answer in the chat, were we able to do this assignment yesterday about this interaction between the self and the body? Were we able to observe this interaction between the self and the body? Were we able to observe that sometimes you are Yes, many people are saying yes. So maybe somebody can share. Many of you have been able to observe. Yes. Bali ji, Reddy ji. Madam Namaskar. Namaskar. Namaskar to all. So, Madam, I observed the interactions between the self and the body and uh, I got one uh, doubt actually, uh, that is, uh, is the self unable to uh, get the information uh, by itself without the help of the uh, body? That I got actually. Like, for example? Any particular Suppose, thing? for example, I see different things uh, through the eye mm -hmm. and uh, the self uh, uh, is uh, getting the uh, impulse, uh, what can I say, the information uh, from the eye and it uh, identifies, uh, oh, this is this, uh, like that. Mm -hmm. Similarly, with the different uh, organs, with the different mm -hmm. uh, senses, like that. Mm -hmm. So, I got... Uh, so, is the self unable to get the information without the help of the organs or the senses? Yeah, nice question. Thank you, madam. We are used to going through the senses. Okay. All our experiences, if you see, all madam. the information we are getting about the outside, how are we getting it? Uh, through senses only. Through the senses. Yeah, Every yeah. experience that we are having of the outside, that experience is happening through the senses, isn't it? So we are using the body to get this information from about the outside, right? Madam. So that part, yes, the self is getting the information through the body. Is the self capable of getting the information without the help of the body? Yes, certainly. 
Okay. We don't have the competence right now. Okay. But we can develop that competence. In a very okay. simple uh, thing, you can notice. Say somebody's vision is impaired. Hmm? Oh, yeah, madam. And problem, some problem in the eyes. Okay. For somebody. Yeah. So now the problem is in the body, not in the self. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, madam. So, you are not able to decipher or make out through the eye something about the outside. Mm -hmm. But if you notice anybody who has loss of vision in the eye for some time, you will notice that their other senses seem to become sharper. Have you noticed that? They are able to hear and interpret things through their hearing. They are able to smell and interpret things through the smell. Have you noticed? Yeah, yeah, because we are giving uh, more effort to other senses so that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, madam. We are yeah, giving yeah. more effort, or we are, you can say, reading more from other senses. Yeah, yeah, because. That means uh, yeah. what is happening here? The self is able to see that, you know, through the mm -hmm. eyes, I am not able to get this information. So yeah. now the self is trying to get that information through the other senses. Okay, other parameters not I can say. Other senses become sharper, like we say. It is that the self is using that sense more to get more information. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Similarly, uh, there are many experiments that are being done in various organizations about children who have been trained to read blindfolded. Mm. They are able to read books blindfolded. That mm. means without seeing. Even though they have uh, eyes. No? Ah, even though they have eyes, even okay. though their vision is fine. Okay. Just to develop the competence of the self. Okay. See, we don't use that. We don't develop the competence because we don't feel the need. If we felt the need, we would do something, isn't it? Okay. Like if the vision is gone and you really want to know, now the self sees the significance, wants to develop that. So the self relies on other senses and tries to get that information. But there is a possibility of without using the other senses also, without going through the body also, getting information about the outside. That capacity or that potential is there in every self. Mm -hmm. But because right now we don't feel the need, we don't think it is important, we don't try to you know, look at it or we don't try to tap that potential because mm -hmm. we are able to survive, we are able to manage by getting the information from outside through the body. Isn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah, madam. So, um, if you look at what we are doing in the exercise, mm -hmm, madam. now, to be able to see yourself, that is inside, mm -hmm. do we need the body, senses, not required, not at all. Not required, not required. To be able to appreciate the feeling that you are feeling inside? That is also. Not required. Not Body required. is not required. You yes, can do it on your own. Yes, madam. Similarly, for the higher activities, we may not be using them mm -hmm. or we may not be aware of them right now. Oh. As we become aware of the higher activities, mm -hmm. we become aware of many things in the reality which are Beyond what the eye can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like yes, for instance, mm. even if you see right now, what are you able to see through the eyes? Only say to certain element. There is a tree in front of you. Yes, so you are able to see one part of the tree, the one yeah. that is facing you. Yeah, yeah, madam. Isn't it? You see some leaves, you see the part of the tree that is in front of you which mm -hmm. is visible to your eyes. Mm -hmm. But there is another part of the tree which is on the opposite side. 
yeah yeah madam which you are not able to see through the eyes yes yes ma'am but that you visualize it as a whole tree hmm because of the self isn't it no really ha huh. so like your hand now you visualize or you see something say the palm of the hand is in front of you you see the palm of the hand mm mm-hmm. but at the same time you are able to make out or have some idea about the other side of the hand Mm-hmm. that is the doing of the self with the self you put all this together and decide you know what is this any object if you look at oh. similarly if you are looking at a plant in the soil mm-hmm. now what is visible to the eye is only the part of the plant which is above the ground Mm, yes madam what is under the ground is not visible to you yeah we cannot see but the self if we do tap that potential the self will be able to see what is happening inside the ground also okay all that potential is there in the self but we may not have the competence right now mm-hmm. because we haven't used that we haven't really paid attention to that mm-hmm. we pay attention to it develop our competence certainly all that is possible mm-hmm. yeah so madam uh, so self uh, being at a higher uh, level then what is the necessity of uh, depending on the lower level body that is an, another connected doubt for me uh, yeah. i'm sorry to add uh, uh, no that's fine thank you thank you madam the problem is we have not developed okay in the cell na no? not developed why madam why you have not developed means uh, no, uh, not We knowing the the higher activities isn't oh. it okay okay Now, we are not aware of the higher activities we okay. are going on with the b2 block inside and that b2 mm-hmm. block is not getting any guidance from the b1 block because we are not aware isn't it we don't okay. refer to our natural acceptance i mean before this course were we referring to our natural acceptance we may not okay. have been referring so, to natural acceptance just one moment let me finish so okay, okay. if you are not referring to your natural acceptance remember we talked about desires the imagination where is it being driven by what is it being motivated by it's being motivated by anything that we have heard anything we have seen isn't it yeah anything madam somebody told us what we saw in the media all that is deciding oh our desires our imagination is going on in the imagination so if you see the entire content of the b2 block is mm. nothing but what you are getting through the body what else is it yeah 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 madam isn't it really so if we are not aware of anything else we think this is it we don't look beyond this mm-hmm. so we are stuck with that but the moment we become aware that there is another possibility a higher possibility and we start working on it mm. that is that point of transformation from where we start making effort to develop the competence in the self to be able to see directly yeah be yeah madam beyond what the body can see okay yeah. so we are losing more unnecessarily so we are losing uh, depending on body so we are uh, we, we have become very limited now madam so yes. absolutely this is what you oh, know okay, we okay. are living at a very fraction of the potential that we have okay okay madam isn't it in fact yeah. even in the b2 block if you see we live mm-hmm. largely at the level of expectation to begin with mm-hmm. yeah madam expectation yeah you 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 know it is hot outside you feel the warmth on the skin you don't like that sensation 
you start uh, planning for an air conditioner or a cooler or something yeah yeah What madam that, all we are doing is trying to make it a pleasurable sensation for the body yeah madam you know so similarly you um become bored of seeing some something then you say okay let's go to some other place let's go visit some place to mm. see some hills or something mm -hmm. because you want some pleasurable sensation perhaps mm. there may be other factors but this is one of them you listen to some music mm -hmm. and then you say okay now i am bored of this you change that you listen to some other music mm -hmm. so you find that we are constantly busy with this trying to get nice sensation from outside that is pleasurable for us we see mm -hmm. it in taste so frequently isn't it mm -hmm. yes madam that we want better taste yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> we forget that we were looking for food we need food to nurture the body all that we have forgotten yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you know uh yeah this is okay but uh, little more taste even then uh, it would be better to have that <laughs> uh, so we keep going after this we keep going after this yeah. expectation that something nicer something more pleasurable something that i can indulge my sensation yeah yeah get pleasure out of it literally we don't use those words and they don't sound very nice but that's what we are doing yeah yeah madam extent so thank you thank you very much madam for your uh, uh and i can say for enlightening me mm -hmm. so very good uh, information i got yes thank you madam thank you anybody else has any observation to share or any question regarding this much then we can take it otherwise we'll move forward in the content it is important that we keep reflecting in all of us and we keep you know trying to observe within whatever exercises assignments we are putting i mean we are sort of uh, day to day we are making these assignments and putting them in the group so that you can avail of them you can use them it can serve as a reminder for the observation you need to do within yourself and with that you can um you know uh, you are able to check within yourself and see whether you are able to see what is being said Doctor Kayal Vizi, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Ah uh, yes, yes, yes. My name is Kayal Vizi, ma'am. Actually, it's a common name. What is Kayal the name? Means, Kayal means fish. Vizi means eye. It's a Tamil oh, name. Oh, okay. Kayal Vizi. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, ma'am, uh, yesterday during my observation, um, I uh, got carried away by a past incident. but mm -hmm. uh, i just uh, uh, was carried away and uh, actually it was uh, something related to anger so i could see the feeling of anger in me rising it so when you get such kind of feelings then how do i handle it i could have, i was first carried away i didn't know what is happening then afterwards i observed that it was a feeling of anger of a past incident which happened now right. how do i handle such situations yeah this is what we'll be doing in the exercises mm. this is what as we go further in the exercise in mm. exercise 1 mm. this is what we are going to be doing okay. so we'll get to that in a moment i mean in some time mm. but for now mm. to just briefly respond to your question mm. you may notice that if you are flowing with the imagination mm. you are again experiencing mm. that anger mm. that unrest mm. 
बट द मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट ऑब्जर्विंग आई एम गेटिंग एंग्री इफ यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट देन यू स्टॉप फीलिंग दैट इमोशन यस मैम यू वर एबल टू सी दैट यस मैम yes i found that it is not wrong uh, what i am doing why should i get anger and i just stopped it at that moment ha huh. so you don't have to stop it mm. you can just observe right now mm. in step 1 this is what we are mm. doing okay because we want to eventually be able to resolve this isn't okay. it yes If yes you stop it for now mm. again it will pop up sometime just like how mm. now suddenly mm. you got into that imagination mm. right you said you got mm. carried away yes yes i got carried but away. if you think about it we are mm. actually Mm-mm. choosing to go into that because it is something mm. that is unresolved mm. yes something that created some mm. discontent some disharmony mm. within mm. we were uncomfortable with that mm. therefore it keeps popping up from time yeah. to time now we can stop it right now mm. or distract ourselves some people get mm. busy with work you know when they are upset yeah. about something they will mm. do many chores uh, so that yes. they are busy with the chores and they forget about this but you don't yeah. forget where is it going it is still within you mm. you can't run away from yourself so yes. you might get busy with something for the time being mm. and forget about this but it is not resolved so it is still there within you and it yes. will keep popping up mm. so we'll get into that when we do the exercises okay. but for now mm. just notice mm. this that when you observe mm. you are no longer getting upset or angry but you are able to see that this or something was making mm. you angry yes so keep yes. observing okay then. observe this also uh. it happened and i was getting angry right now you may be recalling some event mm. in the past yes and going back to that emotion slowly mm. you will start observing you know live you can say moment mm. to moment as it is happening okay and that will make all the difference mm. why we are not going further right now is because Mm-mm. if we jump to too many steps and we are not observing these kind mm. of reactions like we something mm. that we dislike we just immediately mm. stop it yeah yeah yes ma'am you did so yes, ma'am. instead of doing that if we keep observing we get into mm. that practice of observing mm. okay ma'am and that will help us further yeah okay okay, okay. Ma'am. thank you ma'am thank you mamta batra ji Did you have a question? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, good morning to all. Good morning, Didi. Morning. I want to share my observation actually. Huh. <clears throat> And I want to know whether I was whether I'm on right path or not. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, what happened? Uh, my mother-in-law was ill last year, and uh, she passed away in January. Mm-hmm. She, uh, since she was bedridden. uh i have to do so many things uh, for her mm-hmm. and i bought a uh, gowns for her three mm-hmm. gowns i bought and they were new and uh, she hardly used uh, once or twice mm mm-hmm. um, then yesterday i wanted to wear that gown i wanted to use that gown but when i touched that gown i was filled with sadness Mm-hmm. i was about to cry mm-hmm. then i suddenly uh, shifted my awareness i told myself that if i wear this gown it would be like i'm hugging her mm-hmm. it would be uh, she's with me and suddenly my feelings changed and i used that gown i wore that gown and after that i did not get that feeling of sadness Mm-hmm. I was happy. Uh, it means I was I was trying to change my feeling. Is it okay or not? I was trying to turn my sadness into happiness. 
is it okay to do that yeah see these kind of things now this is related to some physical facility yeah But that physical facility is associated with some feeling within you yeah so more than the physical facility it is actually about the feeling in you that is significant for you yeah 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 so exactly yeah now exactly. with that uh that physical facility was just a trigger that triggered that feeling in you yeah similarly that trigger could come from anywhere not just that physical facility yes yes ma'am isn't it so yes. one way to do it is yes you can try to you know talk your way through changing the feeling but if you are doing it through your thoughts meaning from the thought you are trying to change the feeling it will work for short time but it will not stay tomorrow if there is some other trigger again that same situation may come up oh if you are okay. saying that continuity to be able to maintain if you start from thought and try to change the feeling it will happen for short periods but if you are looking for continuity that will not come okay to mom what to do for continuity for that we will do when we are doing the exercises okay. we will talk about you know when you are able to see the relationship when you are able to understand the relationship and relationship not just with one person but with many with all and you understand things better then you don't have sadness for such events see peace meal we are trying to we this happened therefore to try to for the moment have the right feeling we thought about things in a different manner mm -hmm. and it made us feel good for some time yes but you see now something else may trigger that emotion tomorrow yeah. isn't yeah. it yeah yeah ma'am no. again we'll try to do it with the thought so you cannot maintain that continuity with the thought ultimately we have to directly see the feeling directly have you know see what is naturally acceptable have that feeling then the thoughts will start flowing in that direction then that continuity is possible but we'll come to that when we do the exercise okay okay thank you dee thank you very much mm -hmm. uh chandrakala ji this one more uh, comment we'll take and then we'll go further namaste ma'am namaste to all uh, ma'am yes today uh, when i sit and observe uh, the interaction between that uh, body and the cell and also that uh, uh, the thoughts and the imagination going on and uh, Uh, i observed that actually uh, i was planned to do some work in the home that is a actual carpentry work and uh, is not coming in the morning so uh, when i uh, sit for the observation the most of the thoughts are going about that work and uh, i drifted uh, my observation uh, when i hear that uh, Uh, some sounds or something else like outside so by the time i lost that observation again i gave that instruction yes i have to observe i have to give that attention so that's how uh, the things are going on when i sit and observe mm -hmm. and uh, after that uh, uh, i uh, when i doing that activity i observe that uh, that is the aspiration that is i have to complete today's that uh, work what i plan that is the aspiration and is the person is not coming uh, for the work then i observe myself the self give that instruction to my body uh, to uh, are programming that you have to do some other work in that duration so that is how 
uh, uh, I change uh, the, I plan to do that other one. And simultaneously, I observe myself. Uh, the self is programming that. How can I reach that person? By calling is not pick the phone. Uh, anyway, I have to execute. To execute that work, uh, I change my programming so that finally I called uh, the owner, that is the team leader, and he connected and he told that he is coming afternoon. So uh, that observation indicates that whenever the work is more significant for us, uh, the self will do that programming to finish that, finish that work or to execute that work. And uh, in the afternoon is coming and by the uh, same time, I observe myself that feeling towards that uh, carpenter. I, I, have, I am uh, not uh, disturbed. Uh, I thought uh, he is uh, also having some important work. When he came in the afternoon, by looking at him, I say that, thanks, you are coming uh, for the work because I put a leave today for this work. Uh, I feel comfortable. That feeling also I check. And uh, I finished that work. So uh, this is how uh, the whole day I observe myself, how uh, the asp to execute that aspiration, the self can... Uh, do that programming and change the programming moment to moment and it give that instruction to the body to execute that work. Uh, this is the reflection I am Ji, just a few words that you know you are using the programming. Uh -huh. I would say oh, perhaps what you mean is the program we make uh -huh. for or what instruction we give to the body. Is that what you mean? Uh, program means I called him. That is the uh, th no, thought I made. The I, activities uh, you did, but uh -huh. when you say we are programming, uh -huh. I I call that programming means planning to re to execute uh -huh. that. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. these are thoughts, right? You are having thoughts within uh -huh. you, and then you give uh -huh. some instruction to the body. So uh, if we yeah, give yeah, man, yeah. Then we know what what we are thinking, right? When we use other terms, mm -hmm. then we don't know what you mean by those terms. Mm -hmm. Similarly, okay. when we say aspiration, what you mm -hmm. decided that you want to do this task today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what you want, right? Mm -hmm. You want to accomplish mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So with that, you thought about this, you analyzed things within you, and then you gave some instruction to the body. Isn't it? Just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Please follow and understand right mm -hmm. okay thank you thank you okay let's move forward um maybe we'll uh, do a little more and then we'll do the observation because we should move forward So, if you see, I am a coexistence. As a human being, I am a coexistence of self and body. The self is consciousness, the body is material. So, I am there, the body is also there. You can see here it says, my body. As we go further, we may be able to see that, again, this is, is it really my body or is it the body? Does it belong to me or we can just reflect on it just as an aside. So I am there, the body is also there. And I can see that I want to live, isn't it? And to live, to survive, we've been seeing, we discussed also how we are using the body. So the senses in the body, we are using them as we want to live. So for that, we are using. Can you open up the slide more? Yeah. So I want to live, but I don't just want to live. I don't just want to survive. I want to live with continuous happiness. This is my need. 
This is a need of the self. So I want to live with continuous happiness. And when I see this as, you know, what I need, this happiness, now when I am looking at the body, I can see that physical facility is required for the body. It won't do much for my happiness, especially when I am looking for continuity of happiness. So physical facility is required for the body. For what? To nurture the body, to protect the body, to utilize the body rightly. These are the things for which I need physical facility. So I can choose that, I can decide that. And if I want to live with continuous happiness, if physical facility is not what is going to do it, what is? And when I try to understand, I can see that, and we've discussed this earlier, that if I want to live with continuous happiness, I need to understand the harmony at all the levels of my being. All the levels of my being being, I as a human being, so I have, I am the self, I am associated, you know, coexisting with the body. So, to live in harmony within myself, to live in harmony with the body, to live in harmony in the family, to live in harmony in the society, and to live in harmony in nature. So first I need to understand the harmony at all these levels and then try to live in that. So that would be my program for continuous happiness. And this is also what we refer to as right understanding. When it comes to the body, now I can... I already decided that physical facility is required to nurture the body, to protect the body, and to rightly utilize the body. So now, how to acquire that physical facility? How to produce it? And then once it is produced, what means to use to protect it, to rightly utilize that physical facility? That is part of my program, that is linked to the body. And this is less than one-fourth of the program. Why do we say less than one-fourth of the program? Because if you look at the harmony that we have to study and to live in, you see there are four levels. Harmony at the level of the human being, the family, the society and nature. And out of that, if you look at the harmony of the human being, there you have the self, and the self is the one that is central. And then there is the body, which is being used like a tool. So the part of the program that has to do with the body is less than one-fourth. So that is just to bring in context how the self is the one that is significant, and the body is playing an important role, but a smaller role much smaller role compared to the self in my life. Because I am the one, you know, how I feel, that is significant for me. The body I am using. Next slide, please. Or open up the slide, I think there's more. Yeah. So you will notice that I am the one who is the seer. Seer means the one who is seeing. I am the one who is the doer. Doer as in, yes, the body is doing things, but the body is taking instruction for me. So I am the one who is giving the instruction to the body. So in that sense, I am the doer. I am the one who is deciding what to do and then giving the instruction to the body. The body just follows whatever I tell it to do. And I am the enjoyer or the experiencer. Just now, there was so much sharing of what emotions we experience. Sometimes we feel happy, sometimes we are unhappy, sometimes we are angry. 
so many emotions we go through so who is enjoying or experiencing those you know those feelings that is me so i am the experiencer i am the seer i am the doer i am the experiencer or enjoyer and i am using the body as an instrument for my the fulfillment of my program my program was to understand and to live in harmony for that i use the body like a tool to meet my purpose yes you can go further if there are any questions you can stop me but otherwise we will continue so we discussed part of this earlier seer means the one who is seeing or understanding so if for example if you are given something in your hand and you decide that this is a pen did your eyes decide this or did you decide this so the eyes are not seeing by themselves isn't it the self is seeing by using the eyes yes like the examples that we were taking earlier we had this discussions i won't go into that much so like that all of the five senses are just instruments that are being used by the self to get some information about the outside and just like how you are seeing outside you can also see inside and when you see inside within the self then you don't have to use these sensations in the body seeing is also a sensation that is also one of the senses so you don't need to use the sensation in the body to try to see especially when now when you are trying to look inside so for example we talked about you know when you are feeling happy when you are getting angry all this you can notice within you you don't need to use the body for this so it is the self who is seeing or understanding and for this sometimes it uses the help takes the help of the body or sometimes it doesn't take the help of the body so it's using the body like an instrument in this process of seeing can we try to reflect on this for a few minutes Be able to see this that whatever we are seeing or understanding about the outside we may be getting the information through the senses but then the you know is the body seeing or i am the one who is deciding what it is putting together a lot of other things not just what is visible through the senses are we able to see this you can reply in the chat yes or no you can answer bali ji reddy is saying yes amrish ji is saying yes neetu ji is saying yes yes so we can see this yes. if there is any immediate question on this we'll take it otherwise you know we'll reflect on all this that we're talking about that the self is central to my existence and the body is being used like an instrument okay there is a hand raised we'll see if we can take it otherwise we may have to uh, give the answer tomorrow or discuss madam it. namaskar madam yes so Bye. before this exercise just uh, you told uh, seeing inside also is a sensation kindly elaborate no i did not say seeing inside is a sensation is also I, is also okay. possible okay sensation using the eyes to see okay that is also a sensation this is what i just mentioned okay okay but seeing inside is not sensation what do you think uh, uh means when we are seeing through the five senses of the body yeah yeah that's why i got doubt uh, but uh, you 
instructed us to uh, do exercise for 5 minutes that's why i did not ask uh-huh. uh huh so wrongly i understood like that sorry madam not wrongly it is just some miscommunication basically no. what we are saying is that the we use the five senses in the body to get information about the outside but in, when it comes to looking within when you are trying to see your feeling when you are trying to see you know uh, uh, yeah you know, when we try to explore the higher activities for that you don't need the body yeah yeah madam that's why i got doubt i noted down also in my notes that's why i thank you thank you madam namaskar thank you namaste and we've gone over into the hindi session so we'll close here